Hey Vibe Makers, it's Lila with LB Novelties and today's video is going to be dedicated to how I actually plan on my Instagram feed, do my YouTube videos, basically how I do everything in regards to my social media platforms. I have had so many of you ask me questions on how I plan my Instagram feed, how I edit photos, how I um, choose what content I'm going to share, also how I actually do videos here on YouTube and um, how I make it happen, how I upload it, everything that happens behind the scenes of LB Novelties. I have a video um, showing you how I actually film videos and do the whole setup and stuff here on my YouTube channel. So you can check that out in regards to how I set up to film. But I actually wanted to bring you behind the scenes of what happens after I film a video and how I actually do the whole process of kind of setting myself up to edit and um, just plan everything out to post and share with you my fellow vibe makers. So again, I started planning and actually um, producing content for social media in September 2018. Um, I didn't have Instagram prior to that. It is just something that I have grown to love and learn about during this year and a half that I've been doing it. So again, some of the tips that I'll be sharing are newbie tips if you look at it because again, I've only been doing it for a while now. But I know a lot of you have just started your new YouTube channel and really want to learn how to um, figure it out. And I'm here to share what I have learned this year and a half. It is a lot of studying, watching videos, researching that I have done during this year and a half. And I continue to do because I feel like you never can stop learning. You never can stop growing and improving in your content. So I, again, I'm just showing you what I have learned prior to this, um, some of the apps that I use, what I like to do when I actually create content, and basically what I like to do with my feed. Everybody has a different aspect in regards to their feed and the style that they want. I like to do the tile format where it goes between a colored backdrop and a white backdrop. Um, and a color backdrop can be anything regarding a lifestyle photo, um, photography, or any um, planners, uh, planner layout with a color backdrop that I use using um, Procreate. I started using Procreate recently, and I actually have a video for that as well. Um, tips on how to use Procreate to change the backdrops of your actual spreads. Um, the planner photos so it's really easy for me to do that and that has helped me to really express myself creatively in regards to my feed. I like to choose colors in my feed that kind of um, just be cohesive with one another and then I transition into another color so it's just something that I love to do and ever since I started doing the procreate I feel like I can actually express myself freely and have fun with it instead of being stuck to just a set amount of colored poster boards that only allows me to do that color for my backdrop so that's why I like to do procreate and it's just something that again I just um, kept studying and figuring out why what I can do to kind of um, adjust the design and aesthetic of my feet to match what I want to share so always continue to learn guys it's really easy um, once you get the hang of it and continuously study up there are so many youtube videos here that all you have to do is uh, how to do a youtube video how to you know edit a youtube video all these little things i'm just going to share what i do hopefully at least a few of you can get some tips out of those and always continues to learn guys so let's get to some of my tips so how i actually do all my editing and um producing of my content is through my iPad. Again, I've told you that I recently purchased this last year in October, um, and it's just something that I did as an investment to what I wanted to get out of LV Novelties and continuously make it, um, you know, just grow and be the vision that I have for it. So um, what I like to have my iPad for is uh, to have all the apps that I use in regards to editing, um, also planning out my feed. Um, and one thing that you can use, you don't have to have an iPad if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, they all have this option, is a Notes. Notes is really great to write out any of your um, actual uh, text for your descriptions in regards to your post. Um, they call it a copy. So if you put up a photo, you normally see a little description below each photo. So it's really easy to go ahead and type everything out in your notes then copy and paste and insert it into your um, text of Instagram. When I first started out, I would type in everything on my actual Instagram post. So when you're on the Instagram app and it allows you to post up a photo, I would do the whole typing it all up in that in that little description box. And what I realized is sometimes I'm like, is this spelled correctly or is it the spacing? It wasn't um, exactly how I envisioned my description because I didn't know, I was learning. So. What I highly recommend is going into your notes, 
typing it up, having all the breaks and everything in regards to having that spacing. And I'm gonna insert a clip here showing you how I do that. So what I'm gonna do is copy the text portion that I want to carry over onto my post. I'm gonna click on my Instagram and hit over here in my messages. And I have just a message that I sent to myself. I'm just gonna scroll up and you'll see this. This is called the captioner.me. This link allows me to create my post text and have it spaced out. So I really love this. So I'll just click on this and then I'm just gonna go ahead and paste the text that I just copied from my notes section. So let me just make sure it paste. There we go. As you can see, it's all there with spacing and everything exactly how I want it to look. And then you're just gonna hit this button right here. Um, but before I show you that, there is options where you can actually change out the um, text. So I'm gonna highlight Paradise Lost and I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, they have font options right here and you can just click on that and it could change your font if you are looking to make your font a little different. So then all we're gonna do is convert and copy and this automatically copies out your text to be able to share it on your post. All right, so my next step is to select the photo that I want to add the caption to. So I'm just gonna hit next and right here where it says write a caption, I'm just going to paste the um, text that I just did in captioner.me and it's already spaced properly, font has been switched over, all I have to do is okay and it's all set for me to save as a draft. Okay, so now that you've seen everything in regards to the actual type and uh, text of your descriptions for your post, um, that's really easy for me to manage everything. Notes um, app on my iPad gets used for YouTube descriptions, for my Instagram posts, anything that I type up, it goes into that first. I read it over, I can leave it as a draft, come back to it when I have time. Um, all my hashtags are saved there as well. So it's really easy to have everything saved in your notes and then you can just copy and paste instead of sitting there and inserting hashtag after hashtag again. When I first started out, I would put hashtag after hashtag on my little description box on the Instagram app and sometimes I'd be like, did I spell this one right? And then I'd have to go out. So it was just, it was too much. So again, that's just an easier way to do it and hopefully that helps you if you're starting out in regards to that. Another app that I like to use, and I featured this in my Procreate um, video, but it's called Feed Preview. I love this app so much. Um, I just uh, stumbled upon it uh, about a couple weeks ago, and this is just something that I like to do and I recommend for you guys because I used a different format before of how to plan out stuff. But oh, I always go on my um, app store on my iPad and I'll just uh, Google feed, Instagram feed or hashtag or whatever it is that you're trying to kind of improve. Um, that's what I did. I just click, uh, researched Instagram feed and this app happened to pop up. I um, downloaded it. It was free. I gave it a run. I'm like, okay, this seems pretty easy. And now this is my go-to in regards to planning out my feed. Um, I really love using this. I'll just insert a photo here of what it looks like. Uh, because I have shown you how to use this on my Procreate video. But I love this because it really honestly makes it easy for me to switch you know, photos around and see how I want it to look in regards to um, the actual layout of my feed. So this is how I plan my feed in regards to where I want a, um, a photo to lay on my feed and just to plan out in the future you know, days and weeks of my post and I think it's really easy to do this way again it's free if you want to upgrade to um, their service and you can upgrade but I have been using it for the past few weeks and sometimes some ads pop up but then all I do is just close out of the window and then come back and then it's gone so it's really easy it's just the ads that pop in but that is how I have been planning out my feed is using feed preview Definitely recommend downloading it from the App Store. Um, I will put a little photo here of what it looks like on the App Store so you know which um, actual app it is. And uh, hopefully you guys give it a run, test it out and see if it's something that you guys like to use. I've uh, heard other planners that use Planopoly. Um, what are other options that, that I prefer? I think Planopoly is the one that I've heard the most in regards to Instagram. And when I say plan out your feed, it's basically like how I have a tile set up. It helps me to plan out whether um, there is this colored backdrop coming or the white backdrop. So it helps me to lay it out and visualize what it's gonna look like you know, once it's actually posted up. So I love that fact because now I can see how the colors transition into my feed and it's really so much fun to plan now on my Instagram feed. So definitely recommend that one. And um, what I like to do as well when I'm doing any Instagram post is using my editing apps. 
Um, Danielle and I, uh, my squad sister Danielle from Mama Designer Planner, uh, actually gave me some really great tips in regards to photo editing, which I'm like so grateful to her. And we actually have a live that we discussed this. It's on my Instagram page if you go under our IGTV. Um, there is a video or a live video that we did discussing photo tips. But what she um, recommended is using my actual iPad editing. And I was like, I've been using Photoshop, I've been using Facetune, I've been using this app, I've been using this app. And I'm like just so frustrated because I know my content looks great. I know my like the photos that I take are great. But then once I actually start tweaking and editing it, it kind of gets distorted. So I was telling her, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what's the best way, what app I can download, what can I do? And um, she just kept typing, well, just use your iPad. So finally I was like, okay. I'm gonna listen <laughs> and I did and I was like this is genius this is awesome my photos look amazing now um, so I'm gonna insert a clip of how I edit a photo using the iPad settings super easy so if you have an iPhone or your iPad you do not need to download any apps whatsoever it's actually already in your um, system so I'm gonna insert that clip and just to let you know, the photos that I have been taking recently, I've been using my Canon camera that I film here with. So I can't show you the Canon camera because, again, it's being used to film. But I'll enter a little uh, photo here of what my Canon camera looks like in case you haven't seen it. Uh, but that's what I've been using to take photos. And all I do is lay out a foam board on my bed because my light um, is really great between 11 and 3. And you, I just figured out the timing. So again, if you're looking to take photos in natural daylight, just figure out when the, the lighting is the best. Um, I also have started using natural light for filming videos. So hopefully the videos are looking better. I haven't used my um, shadow box lighting in uh, a while now. So it's really nice just to kind of study up lighting and stuff. But again, I just lay out a foam board um, and then I stand on my bed. Um, take my photo with my Canon camera and then once I download it, I can crop it. But I'll make sure to insert all that how I do that in my next uh, clip video so you guys can see the photo editing process. But yes, natural daylight has really improved um, just the actual aesthetics of my photos. I'm really happy with how they look now. Um, so that is something that I've changed up as well in case you're wondering. I'm just trying to make sure I'm remembering everything that I switched up in regards to photos before we go into that clip. I think that's pretty much it. I still do Facetune to edit the um, white backdrop just so I like a really crisp white backdrop in regards to my photos. So I'll make sure to enter that clip as well. So let's uh, get to that. Okay, so we're back on my iPad. And prior to using the photo editing apps, I used to use my Photoshop Express um, app. But now I just go straight to the actual photos available on your um, iPad or iPhone. So right here you see a photo that I took a photo of with my Canon camera. And what I'm going to do is hit this edit button and then I'm going to first crop it and rotate it. So first I rotate it to make sure it's facing the right way. And then I'm going to go down here where it says square so it is an Instagram size square. I'm going to move this around to make sure I have it lined up where I want my um, planner to be and then I hit done. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit edit again and now I'm actually going to edit all the options that are available. So at first I go on to brightness because I want to brighten this as much as I can to make sure that the planner looks nice and crisp. And then I'm going to go over to vibrance and I like to make my colors look a little bit more vibrant. I love color in my photos. Um, and then I love this option black point. This is something Danielle showed me is black point helps to bring out more of the black in the photo and it kind of makes it look a little bit crisper. So I really love that. And then I go ahead and remove some of the shadows so it's easier for me to work with. And then I just save it and it's ready for me to either um, edit it in Procreate or Facetune um, depending on what I want to do with my background. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I use Facetune to edit my photos. I'm not going to use my pencil. I'm going to be using my finger for this portion. So under this button, Retouch, you will click on Whiten. Um, and I'm just going to use my finger to drag across the white background of my photo. And I'm just going to keep dragging my finger across, kind of cleaning up this gray area, as you can tell. And then you'll see this toolbar right down here. You can slide it across depending on how bright you want your background to be. I like to have my background really bright. I feel like it helps the um, planner pop really well. So now I'm just going to continue to whiten my background and um, I really love this feature. Again you can uh, zoom in and get into areas that are harder to kind of um, clean up with your finger. So this is really great to help you make those um, planner photos look awesome and nice and bright and crisp. So again, just keep going at it and making sure you whiten all 
areas that are gray. Okay, so the page has been widened. All I have to do now is save it to my camera roll and it's ready for me to go ahead and post up on my Instagram page. So it's a really easy way to whiten backgrounds um, for your photos. Okay, you guys saw how I actually use the iPad settings, photo settings to edit my photos. It's so easy. I haven't used Photoshop. Um, my app at all to edit photos now i just do it straight from the ipad take it over to facetune to whiten a backdrop if needed or procreate if i'm changing out the color backdrop but it's really easy um it has made planning out my feet so much fun and easier um, and i'm actually enjoying it so i think when you find easier ways to do things um you actually want to keep producing content and having fun with it um so that's why i'm doing this video is because i want you guys to feel happy and comfortable planning out not only your instagram feed but your youtube channel all right, so now that you have your video edited for YouTube, what next? So what I have been learning, um, and again, I just became monetized um, for YouTube in October of last year. And when it comes regarding monetized, means that you get paid for the videos that you put up. Um, so it was something that I worked hard on. Um, I continuously put videos up. And the thing with monetization is not only having, because at first I thought like, oh, once you have a thousand followers, you get monetized no you have to have a thousand subscribers and then i believe it's 200 is it 240,000 or 260,000 minutes watched in a year so you have to have some uh, all your subscribers watch that amount of minutes for you to be considered um to be monetized so it was a process to get there but um i got there and i'm really proud and happy that i did that but once you get that that doesn't mean that that's the end like you still have to continue to put you know great video content out to listen to your um, subscribers to hear what it is that they want to watch what they want to see so it is a lot of work behind the scenes of trying to figure out what's the best way to um, not only edit videos but what is it that you want to share with your subscribers with your followers and not my vibe makers um, so that's basically what I've been doing is just learning the little ins and outs of um, trying to get videos that are great for my vibe makers but if you're not monetized yet that doesn't mean you can't still post great videos to get you to that level if that's something that you're looking for. Once you've actually done your video, um, you are gonna upload it onto your YouTube. So you have to be actually having a YouTube channel. Um, and then once you have your YouTube channel, you will go up and upload the video. So I'm hoping you, if you already have a YouTube channel that you've already uploaded your first video at least. If you haven't, I'll just insert a clip here real quick how easy it is to upload a video just in case you haven't. Okay, so you're gonna go on your YouTube app and this is how you're going to upload a video. Make sure your video is saved already on your actual program. And then I'm going to go to my channel and I'm going to go ahead and hit this little button right here that has the camera to add a video. And I'm just going to hit this button that says video. You can either go live or video, but I'm just going to upload a video. I'm going to select one from my um, program right here, which is just all my photos saved. Once I've selected my video, I'm going to hit next and then I'm just gonna insert my title. And this is where you could type up whatever it is that you want to be the title of your video. So I'm gonna just type up, look inside my um, Franken planner. Once I've actually typed up my title, I make sure I keep it under private. Um, basically, this is a way to upload your videos, have them saved in your YouTube channel. And then once you're ready to make them public, then you can just go ahead and make them public. But it's easier to just have them all saved and ready for you so you don't have to sit and um, wait for it to upload, which is a long process at times. You are editing your video and saving it on InShot and it's a 30 minute video. It's probably gonna be, take about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to save. So take that into consideration when you're doing your YouTube videos and it's something that you maybe wanted to share today or tomorrow. You have to stop and think of the behind the scenes aspect of saving your video and uploading your video and then adding anything else to it. So it takes about, let's say a day between you getting done filming the video, editing it, and getting it all uploaded and saved and all that stuff that you have to before you actually make it public and show it on your Instagram or your YouTube channel, however you are gonna be planning to um, broadcast it. So that's one thing I recommend is definitely take your time um, to plan out your videos. I film videos uh, about a week to two weeks prior to actually posting them up. So some of the videos that you are seeing right now on my YouTube channel were videos that were filmed two weeks ago. Um, this one I'm filming um, today is June 6th. 
so it might be posted up this coming week or the week following depending on where i can fit it into my um, grid so that's why i try to film videos ahead of time so i have all this taken care of and then when it's time to post it's ready to go so do take that into consideration when doing your youtube videos is the time process behind the scenes um, i think a lot of people think oh you film your video and it's done no it's not because i i was one of those people that were like okay i'm done with my video let's get to sharing it but it's like a whole process between you filming it and sharing it to the public there's a whole in between there so take your time learning um, a schedule and that's why i have my planner with a scheduling um, section i don't i have one dedicated to when i post and when to when to actually schedule and i schedule out um, throughout the days I schedule out when I need to write up the copy text um, copy text again is just a description box for your Instagram or your YouTube channel what you're describing what is the content that you're sharing um, I take for time for that I take time to edit the photos and the videos I take time to upload my videos to save them um, and then I take time to go onto my computer and go onto YouTube studio and do any additional information that I need to in regards to my YouTube video so there's a lot that goes behind these YouTube videos so you guys see um, not only that but you know like the filming part of it setting up making time for it um, and just it takes up a lot of energy but I love doing it so that's why I do it so hopefully that hasn't scared you off it's just I want you to know that it is if you are committed to doing a YouTube channel it does require you to put time and dedication to it because it's not just you know I'm gonna put a video up it really is about if you want it to become something that you know you want to grow and get to a level that you're you're happy with then i think yeah study up and really see where where it is that you want to dedicate time to if you just want to do plan with me then just stick to plan with me if you want to do content where like you like me right now where you're seeing me then it's also you have to take into consideration like you need to do your hair and like you don't have to put makeup on or anything but i like to just throw a little bit of makeup on for these videos whenever you see me on stories i never wear makeup but for youtube videos i'm like okay i need to like take into consideration of picking my outfit out and all that little details so it's a lot of details that go into youtube videos um but that was a long spiel huh guys i just wanted to share with you honestly what it is that is behind the scenes um and i am really proud of where i've gotten to at this point because it did take a lot of time a lot of, of long nights um a lot of seeing okay well this video didn't do as good as this video and trying to figure out where it is that you know um, my buy makers want to watch content so it is a learning process but i actually enjoy doing it so that's why i put in the time for it i think it's done here on my ipad so on my ipad i have an app that i'm going to share with you guys because i think this is a really great app and it has to be broadcast to everyone if you haven't heard of it um, it is a great option for those of you that want to share your youtube videos on your instagram page but still haven't reached 10,000 subscribers i myself have not reached 10 10,000 subscribers yet but i'm chugging to it um again so the reason you want 10,000 subscribers is when you have your stories you can have the swipe up feature um that allows you to put up a youtube video link and you could just have your followers swipe up and watch your youtube video that i have just posted up a video on my stories because y'all know i like to share everything on my stories and so two things that i did and i'm going to share that with you here um, what I did for previewing videos, because I've had a few of you ask also how I do the little preview of my YouTube video on my stories. Again, I don't have the swipe up, but it's all about finding um, ways to do things. Don't let just uh, the fact that you don't have a swipe up stop you from wanting to share your content. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it, and I am one that is affirmative of that. So what I ended up doing is using my InShot app. Um, I told you InShot is amazing for anything. So I used my InShot app and created my own little preview of my YouTube video. So um, whenever you see my stories and I've posted up a recent YouTube video, you'll always see the thumbnail photo on the top and then in the bottom you see a little preview of the actual video. Um, and I'll show you real quick how I do that here on InShot. So let me insert that clip right now. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I do my preview. So I'm gonna go under my InShot app and I'm gonna hit this button that says photo. I'm going to select my thumbnail that I have created, go under canvas and switch out the ratio to the 9 16 This will fit your Instagram story size um, really well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and scale down my photo. And I'm also gonna go ahead and switch out the background color. I like to stick to um, a lavender color because that's kind of the theme that I go for my stories. Now I'm gonna continue to kind of scale this down to get it to the size that I want and then I will save it. Make sure to save your photo because if you do not save it, 
it will only give you the option of discarding. So now you're going to hit this video button and select the video that you want. I've selected my YouTube video, which is my plan with me, and that correlates with the thumbnail. And I have it already up here. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into Canvas and start to move down my video. When I have it where I want it, I will go on background and hit this little square and hit my um, photo that I made. So now I have the video and the photo that I made prior to this being my background. Um, and then I try to line up my video square with the photo square. The next step is to put the speed to four times and I put the volume to zero. I do this so that way I can um, have the volume not be interfering in my story and I can actually add a song in my story because I love to add songs on stories to correlate with the video. Then I select um, a portion of the video that I want to preview, making sure that it's 15 seconds to fit a story size on Instagram. And this is what it looks like um, when you guys see it on my stories. So this is a really easy way to preview your videos on your stories. So I'm really excited to share with you what I've been using recently. And I know a lot of um, people on Instagram have been using recently. It's a new app called Milkshake App. And it's to create your own website on Instagram. It is so easy to use. And I took out my landing page link that I had. And now I just use Milkshake. And I love it. The reason I love this one is when I had my landing page, it was only my link option it didn't have any information in regards to uh, anything about me you would have to go to my website to find that out and do all the little navigation in that aspect but what I love about this milkshake app is you can create it to create a website basically for your Instagram so for those of you that are starting out a YouTube channel I definitely recommend downloading the milkshake app and starting one for your Instagram because if you go on my actual page you will find um, that I have that available there and um, I have an about page a YouTube channel page my links page I've also added my favorite my recent favorites um, anything that I want to share with you guys I can cre keep creating pages on that actual app so it's really easy to use I'll go ahead and insert a clip here of how I use the app and I think it's the best way to showcase your YouTube channels if you don't have a swipe up feature this is the best way to get those videos out to your followers without having to worry about when will I have a swipe up so people will go watch my videos I'm going to click right here on my milkshake app just to show you the pages that I have available on my website right here I have my YouTube page and if you click on those three dots it lets you edit your page add videos to it um, these are all the videos that I have listed on that page and right here you can click new video add your title add your link and you could choose to add it first or last and then if you hit preview, it allows you to see what the videos will look like on your page before you go ahead and publish it. This is a really great way to get your videos out to your followers. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on Instagram. So on my Instagram app, if you click on the link right there, you will see everything that I have to share with my Vibe Makers on my website. So it's a really great app for um, that. So, um, and then sometimes what I like to do as well, if you see all my stories is I'll use InShot to, um, at first I will do a screen record on my iPad. So I'm actually, it's recording me going on my link so that people can see the uh, how to of how to do that. And then I go and edit it a little bit, insert it into my InShot, save it, pop it in my stories. And that's how it happens. That's how I get my YouTube um, videos out. So my bite makers can see it. See that it's available um, because it's not only about just posting on your um, post and saying I have a YouTube video up you actually have to kind of promote it on your stories because sometimes people might not see your post because there's so many people that might follow and their post might you know disappear in the crowd so great thing is Instagram stories I recommend you doing Instagram stories you don't have to show your face if you're not comfortable yet but definitely do Instagram stories to promote your YouTube videos because you put a lot of work into it. So that is the easiest way to do it is the Milkshake app and um, your Instagram stories. All right, Vibe Makers, I know again, this was a long video, but for me to be able to share all my tips that I have um, recently acquired during this year and a half of being on Instagram and YouTube, I had to make it a little bit longer than normal because I want to share as much information as I can with you guys. You know that I'm always here to support you, encourage you, and guide you to, um, you know, accomplish all your dreams and goals. And I'm a big firm believer that we all have to um, support one another and share tips with one another. Um, you know, when you share that information and that energy and you want to help others grow, that energy will come back to you. I, I'm a firm believer of that. So that's why I'm always sharing because I like to encourage others and I love to see 
others go for their dreams and goals and i'm right by you cheering you on so you know i'm always trying to message you if you do ask me a question on dms and instagram i'm always there trying to give you answers of what i possibly might know sometimes i might not know the answer and i could guide you to someone else that might know it but at least for me that is what helped me to kind of grow my instagram and my youtube channel um, i really am so proud of everything that i've done in the past year but it really has been a lot of work in regards to youtube and uh, just know that if it's something that you want you do have to put the work into it but it will be worth it at the end when you see what you were able to produce out of it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like the video and let me know if you want to keep seeing more how to's um, and any other uh, items that you guys want to know in regards to social media or what i've learned throughout this process i know a lot of you um, enjoy the procreate tips video so if there's any more suggestions just leave it in the description box below um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel and as always guys peace and love